How's it going guys? In this video we're going to be taking a look at the reissue Robocop Ed 209 NECA figure. Shout out to my buddy Joe for letting me borrow this to review for you guys. Uh, absolutely killer figure. He actually picked it up uh, recently at Days of the Dead Houston uh, from the great folks over at Elm Street Toys. The figure itself is based on the movie Robocop from 1987 and uh, starring Peter Weller directed by the great Paul Verhoeven. So let's get a quick look around the box and then we'll get them opened up and uh, get a better look at the figure. So for starters guys, I love this amazing artwork. Uh, by the way, this is actually the reissue. Uh, as I mentioned before, this one came out in 2022. The original release was from uh, 2014, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, the artwork itself is gorgeous. It's by uh, Jason Edmondson. I have mentioned him on the channel before. He's done uh, other NECA stuff, as you can see in the background. He did the uh, Alpha Predator artwork. Uh, he's also done the Eyes Without Faces that I had mentioned previously in uh, some of my videos, as well as the uh, little houses uh, in my collections during October. So uh, yeah, great artwork by him. Uh, great profile artwork of uh, Ed 209. Ed 209 on the front, Robocop logo. Future of Law Enforcement OCP symbol. On the side, we got a photo shot of the uh, figure at 209. And as you can tell, guys, he's a pretty big, beefy guy. Um, again, on the back, we got the Robocop logo at 209. Another photo shot with him and uh, Robocop. Uh, this does come with uh, some uh, sound effects and everything. So, uh, yeah, can't wait to get them opened up for you guys and uh, <laughs> show them off. And then finally on the other side, we got another photo shot of the figure. So let's go ahead and get them opened up and uh, get a better look at the figure. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and uh, get right to it. So uh, I have to say this guy is uh, pretty beefy, as you can tell, <laughs> if you can't tell already. Uh, for a size comparison real quick before we get further into it, I'm going to bring in uh, the shape here. You can see how the size comparison and uh, this is not even fully extended with uh, his legs so uh, I'll go ahead and start off with his uh, legs the legs do go forward and they go back uh, actually this here is like a ratcheting system so you can actually extend his legs further it's a little hard to push as you can see it's got like a sort of like a ratchet but so fully extended he gets this tall like I said this guy is a beefy beefy figure so now if you put the shape next to him he is towering over Michael so uh, just to kind of give you a comparison there uh, both legs they move the same does come forward does come back a uh, little disappointed that this the uh, toes there's no real toe articulation uh, it seems like it's kind of some sort of swivel but not too much at the ankles but yeah I mean he's a big uh, big old robot so I mean can't really blame him for that uh, other than that there's a lot of cool like uh, articulation stuff like the little flaps here they do come up do come down he does uh, has some rotation where he turns but it's not too too much so not too bad. The arms themselves, they do come out. It's almost like a um, single joint in the elbow, I guess, if you want to say. I would be careful with this, though, because the plastic wiring here goes to the bottom. So I would definitely be careful with that uh, when you're extending the arms out and stuff like that. Uh, it does rotate and go up and down. And uh, there is rotation here at the uh the gun which is really nice same thing with the other one i would be careful with the wiring but the arm does come out it's a single joint and then does rotate in and out swivels pretty good and then uh, again the gun does rotate around so uh, the other cool thing uh, i have to say about this guy is like he's super detailed i love the actual detail in this guy really really nice Really, really solid. Uh, NECA really 
kills it with these figures. Uh, I would have to say the only downside to this guy is he doesn't have too much. Uh, doesn't have too much in the way of uh, accessories or anything. I mean, it's pretty much this is it. And uh, again, I was hoping for if this is a reissue that they would do a little bit something different or add something to it. But yeah, I still think it's a solid figure. Uh, the other thing I have to mention is uh, so he does make sounds and everything so the cool thing is there's a little plastic tab here you just pull that out and then bring him around and then there's a little button right here where you can play his sounds as you can see he does some of his walking motion sounds if we press it again <laughs> uh, basically he plays the sounds from the movie uh, from the beginning when he's first introduced uh, I have to say though again uh, going back to some of the articulation on this I really dig the little details on this and some of the articulation here uh, I love the uh, design and the guns uh, the detail is amazing the other cool thing is uh, I don't know if the camera picks it up well enough but he has the rocket launcher here on the side it actually articulates to where you can Set it to like he's about to shoot one of the rockets. So really like that. The uh, detail there is super, super awesome. And again, guys, I am really, really impressed by the level of detail on this guy. It is absolutely nuts what Neko was able to do. Uh, most of this is a, uh, is a hollow plastic. But again, I mean, the attention to detail and... Just the figure overall, I have to say, is really, really solid. Really, really nice. I love the coloring that they did for this. Really nice. Has uh, some chrome looking grays and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, really, really nice, guys. I, like I said, the only downside for me is that he didn't come with uh, too much in the way of uh, accessories or anything like that. But beyond that, I mean, this guy looks absolutely incredible. Pretty sturdy too. I mean, I feel like uh, he's not going to topple over or anything. That about wraps it up for this video, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this figure. Again, I wish Neko would have added some ex extra accessories to it. Because this is basically all you get for the price point. I believe you could still find it at some online retailers. But still, it's going for quite a bit for, for, the, for what you get. Again, as much as I dig the figure, my only gripes about it or complaints about it is just that the accessories as well as uh, for the price point I really think that uh, they could have done a little bit better on the price uh, I mean yeah it does uh, does the sounds and stuff like that but it would really be nice if it would have like lit up or you know did a little extra stuff or had some extra stuff with it like maybe some battle damage parts where you can interchange down there guys are you a fan of the uh, Robocop film franchise which is your favorite which is your least favorite Robocop the original is my favorite absolutely love that film i'm also a big fan of robocop 2 robocop 3 uh i could have done without i feel like it's a more uh kid friendly robocop as for the remake i have no issue with that one i thought it was uh enjoyable but uh still it doesn't compare to the original or even robocop 2 so uh if you're a fan of the franchise comment down below let me know which is your favorite which is your least favorite Beyond that, guys, if you're new to the channel, feel free to like, share, subscribe. If you're not new to the channel, thanks again for coming back and for the continued support. I really, really appreciate it. Seriously, guys, I can't thank y'all enough. Until then, we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy and have a good one, guys.